It's October, that means it's Halloween time. That also means it's time to get into some more scary movies. Today I'm showing you everything you missed in Toy Story of Terror. Now don't wait to get your Halloween costume or go to one of those little party stores where they have like one of five costumes to pick from. Otherwise you might end up with a poopy costume. Right now you can get the most epic costume you've ever had in your life from Costume for Less like Moana or Buzz Lightyear, Elsa, or many more of our favorite Disney characters. Isn't Jack-Jack adorable? Check out all these cool costumes and much more over at CrazyNate.com. Now let's talk about the movie Toy Story of Terror. Toy Story, which you know, is the kickoff for Pixar's success. So it makes sense that we see hidden Easter eggs all over the place whenever we have a Toy Story movie. Even though this movie's only 30 minutes long, it doesn't change the rules. We start off our spooky little adventure driving down a highway that looks a lot like the highway from Cars, but it's not. Cars was based off Route 66, and Route 66 doesn't exactly go through Tempe, Arizona. One Easter egg that I can confirm is in the scary movie, the lady trips and falls on a tombstone. That just happens to be the grave for Gazer Bee. You know, from The Incredibles. Some of you be like, the headstone says Simon J. Palladino. <laughs> yes, that was the name on the tombstone, but it's also his alias, or otherwise known as fake name. Every superhero has a secret identity. I don't know a single one who doesn't. The tombstone also says a public servant with a unique vision. Unique vision, that's a hint to, you know, his superpower. Of course I have a secret identity. Can you see me in this at the, um, at the, at the supermarket? Come on. I would want to go shopping as Elastigirl, you know what I mean? But if I was Superman, I probably would go grocery shopping as Superman. <laughs> Who wouldn't? Realistically, Superman's not real. Batman. Batman is real. You can make Batman real, you can't make Superman real. <laughs> Uh-oh. Here comes the haters. Bonnie's mom, Miss Anderson, is clearly a big fan of Toy Story. She has a license plate frame holder that says, I break for Pizza Planet. And of course, she has a bumper sticker for Sunnyside Daycare referencing back to Toy Story 3. And then the bumper sticker Han Cho, that's a reference to the set supervisor Han Cho. Now this license plate also expires November 2013. Now this could be originally an Easter egg to the release date of the movie. However, it was released October 2013, but release dates do change from time to time, so maybe this was just a failed Easter egg. Or perhaps this was in a way giving credit to the first two Toy Story movies at the same time since they were also released in the month of November. Spoiler alert! Ron, the manager of Sleepwell Motel, turns out to be a little bad guy. But if you look at his little coffee mug, you will already know that. You know what's scary though? If you pause when the lightning strikes, you will see that there is nothing in any direction. That's right, they're out in the middle of nowhere. But they just happen to get a flat tire right next to this creepy hotel. I think Ron has something in the road to sabotage the cars, so they have to stop. He also has a sticky note underneath the counter reminding himself to smile. <laughs> what if it said remember, share a smile? That would be epic! On the bright side, Ron can't be all that bad though. He has a white Pixar lamp on his desk. It also looks like he's a Disney fan too. If you look in his office, you will see Ron has the Pizza Planet truck hanging up there on his wall. You see it? You see it? Look! Look! Are you looking? And the crazy hotel? It also accepts B&L credit cards. See it on the door? <laughs> In the cozy little motel room, if you look at the art on the wall, you will see Arlo's parents hinting to the good dinosaur, which would have been a future uh, movie. That's disgusting. That Buzz Lightyear would taste some random slime found on the motel room floor. <gasps> Do you want to know what else is disgusting though? It's actually an Easter egg. <laughs> it's referencing to Raiders of the Lost Ark. Poison is still fresh, three days. Does this scene look familiar where Mr. Potato Head's arm is pointing them the direction that they need to go? Well, that's because it's a similar situation from Princess Bride. And gents, Princess Bride, the name sounds like a girly movie, but if you haven't seen it yet, boys will like it too. Remember the combat car from Toy Story? Sid blew one up into a million pieces? Hit the dirt! 
Are you Combat Carl? Well, here's another Combat Carl, and he plays a vital role in helping Jesse discover her inner confidence once again. Combat Carl is voiced by Carl Weathers, who also plays as Chubbs in Happy Gilmore. That's not all we see here, though. If you look closely, you will notice they are both missing their right hand. And they both just happen to lose their hand to a green monster. My hand! Under the sink in the bathroom, we can see the sink was made by Pixar. See the little Luxo Ball stamp? Now, we can't forget about Bonnie. She's literally wearing Easter eggs. She still has the same necklace from Toy Story 3. And check out that shirt. That's DJ Blue Jay from the Toy Story tunes Small Fry. DJ Blue Jay is also on her bottle inside the luggage bag. If you haven't seen the cartoon yet, you need to go get the movie Toy Story of Terror! It's on the Blu-ray. I'll put a link for you in the description in case you haven't added it to your collection. Miss Bonnie's mom threatened to call the police over him training his lizard to steal her daughter's toys. Seems a little dramatic for a few cheap old toys, right? No one's gonna buy them anyways except for that crazy little freak! Me? <laughs> no. If you look closer in the glass case though, you will see that this little freak is stealing more than just toys! Like cameras, phones, and watches, video cameras! I bet the empty boxes up there, even those are full of stolen belongings! If you look closely at Ron's computer, you will see he put Jesse on a make-believe version of eBay for $19.99. If you remember, the first time we ever saw Jesse was in Toy Story 2. Toy Story 2 is released in 1999. Then what about Woody? Ron sold him for $2,000. But who in their right mind would pay so much money for a used toy? Unless they knew they could sell it for much, much more. That's right, we're talking about Al from Al's Toy Barn. Yeah. This isn't just a crazy guess either. We know Al was the winning bidder because the shipping label shows it's being mailed to Al's Toy Barn. So Al's clearly still trying to find a complete set to have the sale of a lifetime. Survey time! <laughs> Do you think Al from Al's Toy Barn will be the villain in Toy Story 4? Vote now right up there or let me know in the comments! Mr. Jones the Iguana is a reference to Jonesy the cat from Alien. <laughs> Another little easter egg we can see on the shipping tag is 1195. We know Pixar likes to advertise that date because that's when their very first movie came out, Toy Story. We also see it later on printed on a box. The hit board on the wall looks like some sort of a trophy wall for a serial killer or something. But we have a few things on this wall I need to point out. Swiper here thinks that Mr. Prickles is a German beaver. He also doesn't know his dinosaurs from a hole in the ground. He thinks that Trixie's a Stagosaurus, even though she's clearly a Triceratops. This is a combination of a few robot shows in the 80s, like Voltron and Transformers, but this guy specifically, he's a made-up toy. Also, his little eyes do not light up green from battery power. They light up green from a green thing in the back of his head that light can shine through. Then there's Rex. Now, Rex has been around since the very beginning, but did you happen to notice his skin patterns has a hidden Mickey on it? BAM! Right there. It's so good to see that Jessie was able to save Woody with her little paperclip that she found in her box. But one thing that doesn't really line up though is Woody had a paperclip in his box as well, and he's been creative enough in the past to get out of tough situations. Sassafras! So it seems like he'd be able to figure out this little escape on his own. Now a lot of you are new to my channel, so I want to take a second and say hello! Welcome to Crazy Nate, I'm glad you stopped by. On these videos, I hide several Easter eggs, typically there are five. So here's the five Easter eggs I hid in this video. Go through the video, try to find where these five are, and include hashtag terror, and I will randomly pick a winner to get a free Share a Smile shirt just like this, and a $25 gift card to the Disney Store! What?! This was such a fun movie to find all the hidden easter eggs for. I hope you enjoyed finding them as much as I did. Don't forget, for your next Halloween costume, go to crazynate.com. Thanks for clicking that little like button right there, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on our next spooky adventure. All month long, it's gonna be spooky movies. If you want to see how I got the clouds on my wall, watch the video here on my second channel. If you want to find a custom video just for you that YouTube made, that's it right here. 
Even though the world's a dark place, you can make it a little bit brighter by sharing a smile. Remember, they are contagious. And the movie is just about over. So, this is the ending? Um, yes. See? Told ya.